really what I do. I use fitness and nutrition as a medium to help people become their best selves, right? Some of you guys in the room have worked with me, and we talk a little bit about fitness and nutrition, but we really talk a lot about you, and we talk about you becoming the best version of you. And so some of you guys are thinking, Jay, like, what does this have to do with, what does a fitness and nutrition guy have to teach us about business, marketing, being an esthetician, that kind of thing? In my mind, it's really all congruent, and it's because of my philosophy on being successful. I firmly believe that success, no matter what industry you're in, life or whatever it is, is 80% psychology or mindset and about 20% mechanics. So this is another reason why I feel like my industry is broken. And I just recently, um, you guys have seen Julie out in the audience. I, read, I wrote a whole book about it, right? So most diet and nutrition books are eat this, don't eat that, you know, various things. And that obviously doesn't work, right? Because then there would only be one book. You would read it. You'd be so healthy, skinny, you'd have everything you ever wanted, right? So that's a broken philosophy. So what I teach is kind of the opposite of what everybody else in the industry teaches. I teach 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. Because without the psychological change, you're really never going to get the lasting results. It's like when I have a client that comes in and they're like, I say, what have you done before? And they're like, well, I've, I've done Weight Watchers for the 30th time. And I always look at them like, is it working? No, like, oh, it works. I'm like, well, the, the, never mind. The, okay. And then so I just kind of helped them see the picture that if it worked, like you wouldn't need to continually go back to the well, right? You wouldn't continually need to sign up for Weight Watchers year after year after year. So what I teach people how to do is, yes, I teach them how to eat. Yes, I teach them about fitness. Yes, I teach them all that stuff. But I teach them how to be the best version of who they are. And so I think this is applicable to everything in life, even in business, right? So if you'll show up in your business... So I would guarantee, let's backtrack a little bit. This is kind of my free talker thing. Like I just get an idea and I'm like, we should talk about that. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I bet in your business, I bet 99.9% .9 of you guys are masters at your craft, right? You would consider yourself to be really great at doing a facial, really great at you know eyebrows, waxing, whatever it is that you specialize in. But as I've listened to in the back of the room this week, like some of you guys are stuck, right? So you're not stuck because you don't know how to do a facial. Like you're stuck because you either don't have enough clients or don't know how to get client retention. Some of you are afraid of being successful, right? So that's, that's not mechanical, right? That's all mindset. Like, so you really don't need any more mechanical tools. Like, I mean, Sean, I could give you another piece of equipment, but I mean, if your mindset's not in the right place, you're not even able to do with it. Or you're not going to have the, the mental capacity to understand what to do with it. So this is, can all be taken care of just by changing your psychology. And so what I do is, this is my book, you guys have probably seen it. So did I mention that tomorrow is my birthday? <laughs> right? You know what to do. Okay. This is a picture of Sylvia. That, that adversity with the weather that I mentioned earlier. So the flood, so gosh, it would probably be, I don't know, almost three years ago, I was at the Long Beach show, because that's what estheticians do. We go to the Long Beach show. Um, <laughs> Lori and I were in the bar, because that's what estheticians do when they go to these shows. They get, they get out as fast as possible and go to the bar. I'm a veteran, guys. I've been going to these shows for, what, 10 years now, Ben? Am I on 10 years? I've been to every show. I've seen it all. So we're hanging out at the bar, and I get a phone call from the place that I was renting from. For my landlord, it was out here in the desert, and... Um, if you guys are familiar with the desert, it never rains, right? It rains like maybe once or twice a year, and it's like a sprinkle. And my landlord said the entire, it was in the bottom of a country club, and they said the entire country club has flooded. And I'm thinking, okay, that pipe busted, right? Because as humans, we tend to blow shit out of proportion. So I'm thinking a pipe busted. And then the next um, thing was a text message with a picture of water flowing into the building like you've never seen before. So long story short, the entire country club flooded, like, five feet of water, my gym was in the basement, um, so my entire business in an instant was gone. I wasn't even here, Lori and I were in Long Beach, and to make matters worse, I think in the, the following weekend, we were headed to Maui for over two weeks for my birthday. So not only was my business gone, no place to take people, I was about to leave the, you know, the continental United States for over three weeks with no place to take my people. So I had an option, right? And if I wasn't a mindset master, this could have completely derailed me, right? This could have completely thrown me for a loop. And it did. I, mean, I won't sit here and say that it wasn't like, you know, that I didn't annoy Lori by, you know, freaking out a little bit. But 
What I did is I realized that I had to just take action, right? And so when I came back, my clients were like, I guess we're not working out. And I'm like, what do you mean we're not working out? I found tennis courts. I found alleys. I, we worked out in some stranger's backyard for a little while. And then they came back from vacation, so that was an issue. But you just figure it out, right? Like you don't allow the adversity of life to derail you and make you like crumble, right? So we fall, and I fell. Trust me, when your business floods, I don't care how great you are or think you are, you will fall a little bit. But if you start to master your mindset, you won't fall all the way. Like you won't, go, you won't get crazy. Like you'll figure it out. So then when I get on a plane, we go to Maui. While I'm in Maui, I figure, well, I got to have somewhere to come, you know, go to when I get back. I have to ensure my clients that Jay's not going out of business. And so I basically found a spot online, called the landlord, and secured a lease in the spot that I'm in right now, um, almost sight unseen. I mean, I saw the pictures. They sent me some, you know, Facebook, I mean, some uh, iPhone stuff. And I'm like, sure, I'll take it. So before that, I had never, you know, I wanted my own space, but I'm like, ah, I probably don't need my own space. I'm just going to keep renting from people and blah, 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 blah. And Lori kept saying, you should have your own space, like over and over and over and over over again <laughs> and so she was right because the flood was the best thing that ever happened to me right so sometimes adversity will be presented to us but it's really what we need it's really the thing that takes us I always tell my clients like on the other side of adversity is where your success lives right but what most of us do when the adversity pops up is we retreat so you can't retreat and so the flood happened I didn't have the option to retreat and so I pushed past the adversity and now I am in the same studio that I've been in since that day, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. My business is probably, I don't know what's bigger than quadrupled. I know there's a thing, but I don't know how to articulate it. My business has grown exponentially, and at the end of this year, I will do, when you guys are cool talking about money, I'll do multiple, 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 multiple six figures out of an 800 square foot private studio. I would have never, <laughs> never, thank you. So no flood, no money. So the quality of your mindset, what I mean by that is, this is your thoughts, your words, and your actions. You can't have negative thoughts, you can't use negative words, and you for sure can't have negative behaviors and think you're gonna have a positive life. What do you do in the dark, right? What do you do when nobody's watching? Like right now you're in the light and you're all gung-ho, right? You're all pumped. You're like, I'm gonna go home and kick some ass, right? <laughs> Guess what happens when you go home? It's gonna get dark. Right? You're going to be by yourself in your treatment room. So this, this matters, but this doesn't matter. It's what you do when you go home that matters. It's what you do when you're in your treatment room by yourself. What decisions are you going to make then? That's the game changer. So it's, this is about changing your life, right? And so this is about being your best self. And I was, in my clients, it's a perfect example. If you show up as your best self, you will lose weight. If you show up as your best self, your business will be more successful. Your relationships will improve. Like everything will get better.